Today's CCNP term of the day is CEF, Cisco Express Forwarding. And CEF is one of the components that allows us to achieve what the marketing people like to refer to as wire speed throughput going in our router. A packet comes into the router and almost like it was just traveling over a wire without any discernible delay at all, it goes out to the appropriate egress interface. Well, how does that work and how did it used to work? Well, when I first started working with Cisco routers back in 1989, the old Cisco AGS Plus router, the router's processor had to become involved in every single packet forwarding decision. A packet would come in and the processor would have to take time out of its day to say, let's see if I have an entry in my IP writing table that would match the destination IP address. And if it did, it's, oh, here's an entry. And to get to this route, I need to go to this next top IP address. Well, I've got to look up the MAC address for this next top IP address or see if it's in my ARP cache. Then the processor would have to check and see what the MAC address was for that next top IP address. Ceph is going to be a lot more efficient. Ceph is going to use two tables that we have in hardware. We're going to have a FIB, a forwarding information base, and we're going to have an adjacency table. Now, the FIB, we could loosely think of that as the information from the IP routing table. It knows how to get to destination layer three networks. And the adjacency table knows how to get to adjacent IP addresses. It knows their MAC addresses, in other words. And we can look things up very efficiently. And in fact, check this out. Here's the way it worked in the old days. Let's say I wanted to go to 172.16.1.1. A router would traditionally interrogate its IP routing table. We've got a route here and a route here and a route here, and it would just start at the top and go down, recursively checking each one. It would say, do you know how to get to this destination IP address? And it would say, no. Okay, how about you? Do you know how? How about now? And it would just go look one after the other after the other. What Ceph does in its FIB is it's going to use a data structure called a try. And it's an inverted tree-like structure that is going to quickly find the closest match. Let's say that we're just looking for these three binary bits. We're going to come down to a decision tree. If it's zero, go this way. If it's a one, go this way. Well, that first binary bit is a one, so we'll go this way. We've got another tree. We've got a path if it's a zero. We've got a path if it's one. This is a zero, so we'll take this path. Next up, we've got a one. Do we take this path or this path? Well, it's a one, so we'll take this path. And we're going to travel this tree all the way down until we can very quickly find the closest match. And this is done in hardware. This is done in something called an ASIC, an application-specific integrated circuit. And that's one of the ways that Ceph can make such blazingly fast routing decisions. And that's today's CCMP term of the day, Cisco Express forwarding.